Hey, what's up guys, this is Ray and welcome to Asian Filmist. And we're continuing our theme in March, which is student life with this 2017 movie, Teichi, Battle of Supreme High. It's directed by Nagaya Akira and stars Suda Masaki. Teichi is based on the manga of the same name, which I haven't read, but you know, you, you should be able to enjoy these live action adaptations as their own standalone experience. Teichi is the name of the main character played by Suda Masaki, and he's a first year high school student in this private prestigious all boys high school. This high school is famous for producing some well-known and important politicians and bureaucrats. And of course Teichi is his dream to eventually become prime minister and to start and own his own country. Well, I guess guys can dream. But anyways to help accomplish his dream he figures he has to be a high-ranking member of the student council of his school. So what does he do? He forms a bunch of alliances Alliances, a bunch of partnerships that will help him move him up in uh, in the society that's within this school. And so in case you guys are wondering, this is a comedy. It is not a movie that would take itself seriously. It's a whole lot of fun. And to my understanding, it's meant to be a parody of the world of politics. I'm not sure if it specifically parodies Japanese politics because I felt that a lot of the characters and a lot of the, the archetypes that are featured in and Teichi, you can pretty much interpret them to many governments all over the world. So let's talk about the positives and negatives of Teichi. You know, first of all, being a comedy, I felt that it delivered quite well. It's quick, it's sharp, it's witty, and it's very intelligent. And I especially like the dialogue. The dialogue was quick, there was a lot of talking, and I felt like the, the way, the kind of fast way that these characters were speaking, Suda Masaki does very well. If you've seen some of his other movies, and he's really good at delivering these types of dialogue. And the kind of variety of characters that were featured in Teichi, you know, as I said earlier, this takes place in an all boys school. So of course you're gonna have a whole lot of ikimen, or as we say in English, just handsome dudes. You know, personally going into a little bit of geek territory, as a Kamen Rider fan, you know, Suda Masaki was a Kamen Rider. This movie features a whole lot of alumni of tokusatsu. I don't want to get into too much detail, but yeah, there is a large number of tokusatsu alumni in this film. And the archetypes of characters that were featured in the story, you've seen them in other kinds of manga. I mean, it's kind of hard to come up with original ideas for archetypes, but the way these guys were used in the story, it was quite intelligent and it was entertaining from start to finish. Like, you know, you take Teichi's best friend in the story, the kind of running gag is that he's gay, kind of gay for Teichi and they're not really clear on that kind of position but it's just something fun that the story just keeps running with. And you have Teichi's rival who's just constantly trying to get into his way who's arrogant up the ass but you just can't help but hate him and it's just a lot of fun. And what the story does, it takes these archetypes, take these, it takes these characters and just makes them so over the top so you just can't help but have fun with them. And as I said earlier, this movie is a parody on the world of politics. So you have not only Teichi but you have different types, different members of the student council. They're trying to form alliances with each other so that way they can, uh, they can grow off of each other's power and influence over the student body. And then just like the real world of politics there's a lot of backstabbing going on there's a lot of betrayals and it's a lot of fun when you see who backstabs who and who decides to join who so let's talk about the negatives of Teichi first you know some of the gags you know personally I loved but at the same time I can see how they can a little bit they can be a little bit too over the top for some viewers uh, it's to the point that they can either be just viewed as too hammy or just too yeah just too over the top and they might fall flat to some people. And as much as I love the variety of characters that were featured in this movie, I felt that, you know, it's very hard to remember everyone's name. You kind of just remember them by their character type. I think, but you know, I think that's pretty common with movies of this style that just feature a whole, a sheer number of characters. You kind of, it's very, you almost don't remember uh, each character's names. You just remember who, like, who they are, what they were famous for. You know, like the shogi player, you know, the guy with long hair, the down-to-earth cool guy, the annoying rival, the gay best friend. But that being said, overall, what did I think of Teichi? I absolutely loved it. I mean, but last year, 2017, 
This wasn't on my top 10 list of favorite Japanese movies, but it was definitely in my honorable mentions. And watching it again, I think it, it holds up to that. This movie uses the world of politics as the, the center of its comedy. So not only do you get a lot of backstabbing, you get a lot of a lot of scandals that's stuff that you would normally see uh, associated with politicians and it's used to a very clever degree in this story like as Teichi is trying to climb up the ranks there might be a scandal relating to his family that causes his reputation to plummet so he has to work his way back up but he doesn't do it really through hard work as one would normally do in some kind of shonen anime or manga but instead he just forms new alliances and tries to get over on his competition in the sleaziest way possible. Do I recommend Teichi? Yeah, I certainly do, especially if you're a fan of comedies. But you know, as with all types of comedies, it might not work well for everyone. I think comedy is really, uh, really cultural. It really works for the whatever culture has produced the movie. So it might not work well for anyone outside of Japanese culture or someone who doesn't really understand it. But I still think it's a movie worth checking out. I mean, if anything, if you're a fan of Sudamasuki or if you're just a fan of handsome boys, you know, this movie has plenty of them. This movie has them in spades. So you'll definitely be entertained so if the story and comedy doesn't keep you then the definitely the handsome dudes will so yes those are my thoughts on Teichi Battle of Supreme High what did you guys think or what kind of questions did you guys have let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like share and subscribe to Asian Filmless please support me on Patreon it would really help me a lot and please check out my Patreon page I have a whole lot of nice perks for those who decide to pledge to Asian Filmist. all right and always everyone thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all again in the next video take it easy